Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Nerd Chronicles. This is your host, Christian Paul speaking. All right. This following episode here contains graphic content that may not be suitable for definitely children and some other viewers involved, which could involve graphic language, um, visual graphic content, and or both. Viewer discretion is advised. John Morant was riding in, drove by really slow, while someone pointed a laser at the same people they just confronted. Ja would realize that he's not a stud. Ja is a really, ja is a really good basketball player. Ja did everything he could to lift himself and his family out of this type of environment and to get away from this. And for some reason, he wants to surround himself with these type of people. Why? Bro, you not hard. That's not your life. People that in that life would give anything to be in your life. For some reason, you're worth 30, you're worth, you got a $200 million contract and you want people in the NBA to think you hood, to think you gangster because you roll with these type of people. Bro, you putting yourself in harm's way when you don't have to. Nobody looks at you, John, think, man, that's a thug. He hood. He down. He bought that. You not. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Bridge Talk coming from the Nerd Chronicles. Live from George Washington Bridge, up in New York City! You feel me? Alright? Y'all feel me? This is your host, Brown Lane, certified Betty Mel Sin Manjana, whatever it is, no game. The Stolzy Yakwa Nerd, Christian Paul's up in the house. Okay? We just got some news that some members of John Moran's entourage coming off the game of FedEx Field have been banned from the arena. Where the Memphis Grizzlies played for about a year, just because one of the entourage basically sounded like that, like some other dudes, like up by the up by the Raptors um bus, with like all the teammates and the organizations, crew, all that other stuff, you know. Maybe some of the stuff that's really trying to get John Moran up in trouble. You know what I mean? And this is like a classic lesson of basically watching who you hang with at the end of the day. All right. Simple lesson, all right? You gotta know who you hang with. You gotta know those folks that you hang with. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be dictating how long you're gonna stay successful, especially when it comes up to the NBA or whatever life it is, okay? Whatever job you are dealing with or if you're going with the high value lifestyle, how it may be. You need to know who you hang with. You need to know the, know the mindset of those folks, all right? Ain't no wrong with actually growing up together and doing great things over your childhood going on your friendship throughout your life. But when they do some dumb shit like this, you know, it can literally come back to bite you in the ass. No more talk. Chris Ball with the nerd crowd can sign out. Go!